I am so excited for this video. AI agents are the new trend this year and it's never been easier to create your own personal AI agent with no code and for free. Yes, I've just said with no code and for free, we're gonna get straight into it here. My name is JI and if you're new here, this is the Everyday AI channel where we teach you how you can use AI in your daily lives. So Zapier have recently put out this new platform or interface on their website called AI Agents. Now it's apparently still in beta but it works pretty well and we're gonna dive straight into it here i spent last night creating my first one and this is just so cool i can't wait to share this with everyone so yeah take a look at this i've created an agent that's going to send me an email research report every day at 6 a.m on its new findings in the ai space so what's trending and what's gaining traction now to do this i went on to the ai agent section here on zapier and i just clicked new like so and what happens is you see one of these things pop up right so the first thing you're going to need to do is set the trigger so the trigger as you can see is up here now you can set the trigger to be a time or you receiving an email or something being added to a particular spreadsheet there's a whole lot of triggers you can actually use so that's definitely worth exploring the trigger i've set for this is for 6 a.m every single day so this is going to run at 6 a.m every single day and the instructions I've given it are to research the latest development in the AI space that can immediately be actioned to provide entrepreneurs with an unfair advantage. Make sure you expand on your deliveries, writing at least one paragraph. For each one, describe the platforms that can be used and the workflows that can be incorporated so that entrepreneurs can immediately action the finding of the discovery into their processes in order to gain an unfair advantage. Then send it to, and then I've put a uh, action here so you can click on the take action and as you can see it will give you a number of apps you can actually integrate into so these are just the top apps but you can search for any apps you want you can see you've got slack you've got notion you've got hubspot you can get it to send you a slack message each time um, as part of the instructions depending on whatever you're trying to automate within the agent so the subject should be the day's date in the format of this and research discoveries and then I've got here also write an article about an undersaturated but rising theme concept or aspect in the, of the AI space in a similar format to the following article. Make sure the article you provide is in a similar length to the article below. And then I've got this article that I wrote um, for my uh, LinkedIn a while back. Now, this is something I started off yesterday and it's already started working. I got an email at 6.01 exactly this morning and it was great to see. So next I'll click save. What you can also do is you can click find data, right? And add particular data sources if you actually want it to work based off in, uh, specific data sources, which is really cool. Now, this is a concept called RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, which you may have heard of. It's basically a fancy way of saying you put in the precise information you want the AI to draw its uh, output from. Now we're gonna click test behavior. Okay, so as you can see, it's bypassing the trigger because I'm testing it manually now. Okay, it's finished its Google search and I can actually see what it found when it was searching. I can see the exact links it went to. I can see exactly what it discovered, right? Cool, next it's done the web browsing. I can see what it found in terms of the web when it was browsing the web. And I can see now it's preparing to send me an email. Cool. Now I put at the end that it should end each email with bleep bloop J-I <laughs> and it should begin every email with hey J. And I also said it should make sure the email is in HTML. Now this can be very useful when you're formatting things uh, because sometimes it can be difficult to customize the exact format of an agent if you're not giving it in HTML. So it's asking me, does everything look good so far? Is there anything I'd like to change? And uh, yeah, I can see what the body of the email will be here can see it's going to be HTML. I can see what the subject will be like. So I'm going to click looks good. Approving and saying I'll now send an email with comprehensive research findings about the latest AI developments and include an article about an emerging AI trend. Okay, cool. So it's working on it and it's saying it's sending the email now and action complete. Cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my email and here's the email I've just received. This is so cool. I can't believe this is even happening. As you can see, it's sent from JI and you can see JI also signed it off with bleep bloop as instructed. And yeah, here's the article it's written. I'm going to be posting this on my LinkedIn and other business media platforms. But yeah, you can see we've got the rise of AI agents, multimodal AI agents, AI driven personalization, 
So these are the latest developments that can give entrepreneurs an unfair advantage. And I'm going to be getting an email like this on the new emerging trends in AI every single day at 6 a.m. without fail. Now, with this technology, you can easily just create your own mailing list. You can upload a Google Sheets onto there and just connect that to a type form. So as soon as people fill out the type form, their email goes onto your Google Sheets and then this agent can just read the Google Sheet and you don't even have to update the agent. It will always read out the sheet. So whenever someone signs in, it will just automatically send them uh, this email or any particular email sequence you want. So yeah, the possibilities for this are endless and I'm sure you all understand that the only limitation is one's ability to reimagine their workflow creatively. Now, if any of you are really serious about getting ahead with AI, make sure you join my school community where I post the latest discoveries I discover first.